In the last episode, we left off on DC motors. DC motors can do a lot, but we can still improve them. We can improve both the strength, also called torque, and the speed of a DC motor. To do this, we use gears. A normal gear looks something like this. It may look a bit smoother, but that's because this gear came out of a 3D printer. If you've seen a gear before, you know that they rotate together like this. By putting different gears together, you can change the torque and speed of your motor. Let's start with these gears. This one has six teeth and this one has 18 teeth. If we move the smaller gear in front, we are changing the gear ratio. In this case, it has six teeth to 18 teeth or one to three. That means the smaller six tooth gear will rotate three times for every one rotation of the larger gear. Because the first gear has less teeth, I normally call this a small gear ratio. If I have my motor on the small gear, but my load or weight on the larger gear, the torque will be multiplied by the gear ratio, but unfortunately, the speed is decreased by the same ratio. That makes a small gear ratio strong, but slow. Now let's reverse this situation. By switching our gears, we now have a three to one gear ratio. The opposite from last time, every rotation of the large gear will cause the smaller gear to rotate three times. Now, this large gear ratio has less torque than before, but now it is much faster. Now, here's a question. What happens when we combine these gears? The answer is that we simply multiply like this. To end this episode, I will give you a question. What happens when we put this 13 tooth gear between these 6 tooth and 18 tooth gears? What is the new gear ratio? Write your answer in the comment section below. By the way, in the next video, we will see the answer to this problem and a type of motor that uses gears, also known as the servo motor.